All right, class. Today, instead of just taking notes, we're going to pair up and act out scenes from the Odyssey. Now, stripping back his rags, Odysseus, master of craft and battle, vaulted onto the great threshold, gripping his bow and quiver. With that, he trained a stabbing arrow on Antinous, just lifting a gorgeous golden glove and cup in his hands. I've seen trouble. All right, class. Today, we're going to talk about this question. Does Homer's representation of the Cyclops demonstrate Greek culture? And the way that we're going to debate that today is through a special reading strategy called the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a reading strategy that involves the whole class. Students take in debate form important concepts learned from the material. When another student has input on either side of the debate, that student taps in to debate on that side of the topic. This continues until the whole class has participated or the topic has been discussed thoroughly. Alright class, today we are going to review what we have already learned um, through focusing around this question right here. What are some similarities, physical and mental, between Odysseus and his son Telemachus? And we're going to do this through the reading strategy of Popcorn Review. Popcorn Review is a beneficial process for teachers to incorporate differentiation in their classroom. Popcorn Review is a rehearsal of newly learned material. The teacher provides students with a topic or question to be reviewed. Students then stand up or pop up during review process and state a fact or detail about the topic. Students assume responsibility for holding each other accountable for what they have learned. Students are also obligated to follow along in their notes, and this process encourages them to be active and aware in class participation. All right, class, today we are going to watch the film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And then we're going to compare and contrast that to different parts of the Odyssey. And we're going to see how the plot lines are similar and how they differ. Daddy! Hello, sir. How's my little girl? <laughs> he ain't our daddy. I am the only daddy you got. I am the damn heterofamilias. Now Mama's got a new boat. Vernon here's got a job. Vernon's got prospects. He's bona fide. What are you? You can't marry him. Why can't I? I am and I will. This uh, gentleman bothering you? Well, you can't marry my wife. <laughs> and stay out of the wall for it. To get back to his wife and kids, Ulysses Everett McGill will do anything. Hey, any boy, Smitty. But he's about to get off on the wrong track. Who elected you leader of this outfit? Well, Pete, I figured it should be the one with the capacity for abstract thought. Boys, if you just stick with me. Man, we're in a tight spot. Believe me, I got a plan. And I can get my wife back and we can get out of here. Okay, I'm with you fellas. Introduces Pete. I've seen him first. Pete? Ah, them sirens loved him up and turned him into a horny toad. <laughs> you two are just dumber than a bag of hammers. Uh, well, allow me to introduce myself. Big Dan Tootcorp. Ah! Hey, what line of work you in, George? Come and get me, Captain! Ah! Oh, George, not the livestock. <laughs> Wait a minute. Since we've been following your lead, we got nothing but trouble. You have eluded me for the last time. Ah! I got the answers. I'm bona fide. May he be your friend's think I'm just a stranger. I think you may. You're gonna go far. I'll meet you on God's golden shore. You ever been with a woman? I gotta get the family farm back before I can start thinking about that. All right, class. Great work today. You can pack up. Class is dismissed. Yay! <laughs>